Hey everybody, this is Alex Merced from alexmercedcoder.com. Right now we're working on this Rails view project. In the first couple of videos, we pretty quickly built out the Rails API with authentication, just to show you how quick and powerful a Ruby on Rails is. Now what we're going to do is create the front-end application using Vue. So right now I got my terminal with my server running, so I'm going to leave that there. I'm going to create a new folder in here called Notes Note App Front End, meaning it's the front. Okay, and in this folder we're going to have three files: index.html, new file app.js, and new file. Um, style.css. Okay, so first we're just going to build out our basic boilerplate. So I'm just going to put that there. Just your normal HTML. Connect our custom code. So our custom code. Make that a comment. So that's going to include our script tag to our app.js, which I'm going to add a defer keyword to. So that way it runs after the downloads. And then I'm going to add a link tag that links to our style.css. Good. Now what we need above this is the view script tag. Okay, so for that, I'm going to head over to viewjs.org, viewjs.org, click on get started. And if you scroll right down, here's the link script. Okay, ta-da. So now what I'm gonna do is that there's gonna be things I want them to see when they're logged in and when they're not logged in. So essentially I'm gonna kinda create two pages in one. So first I'm gonna create the div that view's gonna wrap itself around, which is the div with the ID of app. Which is the div of ID of app. Inside that div, we're gonna have two more divs this one will be, we'll call it app uh, div ID equals not logged in or no login, meaning they haven't logged in yet. So this is where I'm going to build out like their ability to log in and create accounts. And then, so right now this, I, all I want to do is make this visible like this h1 this is the login area and then i'm gonna make another div here that's id login okay this is the area we'll see when there is a login okay and that's gonna be like h1 this is the user area Okay, because I just want to make sure that this part's working, and then we can build it out from there. So I'm going to go to my app.js, create my view instance. So const app equals new view. Uh, view. We have to identify the element we're attaching ourselves to. So L is going to be app. App. And then what I am doing in there, I'm going to create one piece of data, or I mean data, the data object. And so far, I'm just going to put a property called logged in. Okay, that's the property. And it's going to start as false. Okay. So there's my view instance so far. Uh, I want this div to show, so v if logged in is false. So v if equals not logged in. And then this should show v if equals logged in. Okay, save. Now let's just test if that works. So index open with live server. So right now it's not working the way I want it to work because I see this is showing up. One of, one of them should not be showing up. 
Okay, right now logged in. So v if equals logged in. Again, this is all this within the div app. There's the app. Oh, I put a. That's why it's probably an error because I put a semicolon there. So let's save and let's see what that fixed the problem. Okay, that fixes it. This is the login area. Now, if I make logged in equals true, then this is the user area. Okay, so good. So now we have our basic lever, which is if logged in becomes true, then it will say fault. It'll it'll switch screens. Uh, we do eventually want to get the JWT token, so I'm going to make a, another property called JWT. That's where we'll store the JWT token when we get it from our front end. I mean, from our back end. It'll just be an empty string for now. Um, we're going to have a form, but we'll create those forms in the next video. So I think this is a good start. So we kind of have our boilerplate. Um, and you can kind of kind of see the logic is we're going to build out the forms to create um, and log in here and then when that comes back and we get the JWT token we're going to get a we're going to switch that login switch to true that'll make which screen shows up uh, switch to the screen where the user can then see their notes and do stuff so that is going to be sort of how we do that I'll see you guys in the next video where we'll kind of continue on that road